I want to give the powers of engineering to anyone who is creative and who has got an idea. I believe that creativity and engineering together are the key to any industry, and particularly to the Internet of Things. Our current problem with engineering is that of noticeable impact. We spend too much of our creativity taking pre-existing systems and optimizing them with little impact. No one really cares that a train goes half of a percent of a mile faster. I believe we'd be much better off using our creativity to take these pre-existing systems and pushing them to entirely new fields with much greater impact. This frustration was felt by myself and a lot of my friends after engineering school. They wanted to seek a world of adventure, of creativity, of impact. And a lot of them ended up with jobs in investment banking. And I even applied for a job at a management consulting firm. Can you imagine? <laughs> But at the same time, these people were the best engineers in my class. And I thought it'd be a shame to let these people, who could add value to the world, pushing their fields of expertise and really working on it, At the same time, we're seeing another part of, a, of the population, the creatives, the designers, the architects, the artists and the children, who were coming up with new ideas every day to challenge the status quo, to improve our standards of living and to change our lives. But these people were sometimes missing a key to the puzzle. They didn't often know how to implement and materialize these ideas. They didn't know what I'd learned at school. How about pushing these people to be continuously more creative and give them the right tools? And for the past two years, this is exactly the gap that I set out to bridge. I want anyone with an idea to have the tools and the fun to materialize it under five minutes. And this idea is called Sam, named after my younger brother. Sam is like the ingredients that you use to cook any dish, except that SAMs are the ingredients behind any app, any product, and any innovation. In the world of the Internet of Things, every object will be connected. I'll be able to take the button that I've got at home and turn it on. It will automatically appear on an interface, and I will check whether it works simply by dragging it on. And when I press on the button, it will press on my interface. To create a light system, I will turn the light on. It will appear on my interface, wherever I am in the world, and I will connect this button to this light by drawing a line between the two of them. And now, every time I press on the button, the light will turn on. To create a smart system, I'll be able to use another sensor, a light sensor. This light sensor tells me how bright this room is. If it's got a high value, it's very bright. If I hold my hand over it, it gets to zero. If I now attach my light sensor to this light and it gets dark, the light now dims all the way to zero. If I allow some light to fall on it, it will brighten up. To create a smart system, I want to ensure that I never waste energy. Whenever it's bright somewhere outside, the light should actually turn on and vice versa. I'll be able to take a simple function, a behavior, and put it between these two modules. And now, whenever it's dark, whenever I hold my hand over the light, it's going to grow brighter, and vice versa. How about going away from this prototyping function of SAM and into the real world for real applications? How about connecting it to my light at home? I love reading, but I want to make sure I don't waste energy reading. But I also want to make sure that I don't have to wear glasses in five years' time. How about ensuring that whenever it's night outside, the light turns on. But whenever it's bright, it adjusts to exactly enough brightness. If I get my hand close, this light turns on over here. If I take it away, it adjusts to exactly the right level of brightness for me to read. How about taking it further? I want to learn more about engineering. I want to use the same ingredients to create a new system. How about creating a car with a slider, the same button that I had, a servo motor, and two DC motors. If you look at the interface, all of them turned on and appeared on my interface. I put the car on the ground, 
and connect everything together. The DC motors with the button. The slider with the servo motor. I'm now able to steer with the slider. And I'm able to turn the motors on with my button. I've created a system that's entirely different to the light system before, but with the same ingredients, and in two seconds. How about changing the complexity of the system and allowing another kind of input? I want the internet and the world to, to use and power my car. We're at TED Talks, and so it's appropriate that I use the right hashtag, but I want that anyone talking about TED now moves the car, and the car is now moving. People are tweeting about TED. <laughs> How about applying this to real industry? How about applying this to the field of robotics? I can now use the proximity sensors that I've got over here and say hi to a new robot. It's quite curious. If I get close to it, it greets me. But if I get too close, it gets annoyed and tells me that I really should leave it alone. How about adding the social factor? As human beings, we love to communicate. And I want to make sure that I keep a memory of this moment. I want to use the same button that I use for my car and for my light and connect it to Twitter. Not only connecting it to Twitter, but taking a picture of all of us and keeping it on the internet. By drawing a simple function connecting the camera on my computer to Twitter, I'm able in a second to bridge over APIs and industry and actually take a nice picture of all of us. And I was once told never to do a live demo. Here you go. If you allow me to take a picture of all of you, if you can raise your hands. Three, two, one. Let's see the result of two seconds of prototyping. We have now taken a picture of all of us and tweeted it for the world to see. SAM was used by children to learn electronics and coding. In fact, some of them used it to create a driverless car, much more complicated than this. It would roam around a room and be able to find obstacles and dodge them. Something that took me two semesters at university took two eight-year-olds about three hours to create. SAM was used by designers to solve a problem in the healthcare industry, the problem of compliance. They created a smart pillbox that would tell the patient when to take their medicine and would tell their doctor and their family if they had taken the right one. It was used by fashion artists to create new glasses, funky glasses, for blind people to be able to roam around the city in a safer and quicker manner. We are at the dawn of an extremely exciting industry that will connect objects and people. It is our choice to decide who will shape it and how we'll shape it. And I firmly believe that the more people join, the fairer it will be. I'm super excited to onboard you with Sam and unleash your creativity to the world. Thank you very much.